At St. Ambrose College, we offer A-level art and design in both fine art and photography. A proven track record of high quality work is expected as an entry requirement for the A-level. However, it is possible to study A-level photography having not taken the equivalent GCSE. In order to do this, students will need to complete a set project and show basic skills and understanding in taking photographs and editing them. One of the first questions students ask is how does A-level differ from GCSE? Work is obviously more advanced, but what does that mean? If one looks at the GCSE specification, one sees component one, this is often called coursework, is worth 60% of the overall GCSE. And at St. Ambrose College, students normally produce two coursework projects during year 10 and in the first term of year 11. In January, the exam board releases an externally set assignment where students have a choice of projects which they complete ultimately producing a final piece in a 10-hour exam at the beginning of May. There are certainly similarities in the format of A-Level and GCSE. Again at A-Level, Component 1 or coursework is worth 60% and is completed in Year 12 and the first term of Year 13. Then in January, like GCSE, the exam board releases the externally set assignment. The main difference at A-level is students initially produce a number of mini assignments or projects during the first two and a half terms of year 12. The purpose of these is to develop the skills necessary for success at A-level. Then towards the end of year 12, students start their main A-level coursework project. The structure and format of this project has similarities to GCSE, but there is a substantial written component that accompanies the project. Most students write an essay of between three and 5,000 words, explaining their project, their ideas, referencing and analysing the work of relevant artists and photographers, as well as justifying their own work. There is a similar written component to the externally set assignment, Again, like GCSE, the choices of topics are released by the exam board in January and students then complete the project, ultimately completing a final piece in a 15-hour time period in May. At A-level, we start the course looking at basic drawing skills and how information is produced and presented in sketchbooks. For photography students, they revisit basic photography skills and look at how they record information in a sketchbook or digitally in a PowerPoint, for example. There is an emphasis on high quality technical skills in both photography and fine art, with students producing substantial work even in these early foundation course projects. The second foundation course mini project is where students are expected to create a homage to a particular artist and or artwork. It is an opportunity for students to develop skills in analysing artwork or photography in depth. Looking for example at how a particular piece of art needs to be considered both technically as well as socially or historically is important. For fine artists, it is also an opportunity for students to work in oil paint and develop new skills and ways of working. Students also complete mini foundation course projects where they experiment with abstraction, manipulating materials and imagery to produce striking pieces of artwork. Traditional subjects like landscape, still life and portraiture provide the backbone for student work, but these genres are interpreted in new and exciting ways, referencing artists both past and present.
For more information, you can visit us at sacart.org, visit the A-level pages, and look in detail at some of the projects which boys produce. And then finally, you can also follow us on Instagram or Pinterest.